found a naughty. Oh, I found a naughty. Some little, some little chicken dude. Some little chicken dude. I just swiped your bro. What's up, man? You're gonna take that? Oh, I just killed you. For oh, you're not so tough now, are you? You're not so tough now, are you? I bet I can punch you. Oh, you won't even do a damn thing to me. Anyways, welcome everybody to another episode of Trinity UHC. Now, guys, let me tell you, it was made apparent in the last episode. Oh God, I thought. What? How the hell did you get up there? Yo, how'd the chicken get on the roof? Real talk, how'd the chicken just get on the roof? How did he... Is there is there a way to get... There's actually no way to get on... How the... Yo, how'd that chicken just get on the roof? Okay, he might actually... No, he went in... Oh, okay, okay, he went inside. Alright, I understand. <laughs> I was actually really freaked out. I thought the chicken... Yeah, I thought that you just jumped... You know what, get, get out of here! Get out of here. But anyways, last episode of Trinity UHC, you guys crushed it on the support. God damn it! You guys crushed it on the support, and last episode, we took down the Wither, which was our second out of the three bosses. And guys, we only have one more left, and that's simply to uh, defeat the Elder Guardians and raid the temple. As soon as we get those golden blocks and kill us through, guys, bring it back home, we have officially won. Like, we've beaten the series. We're done. So... In terms of preparation, I actually did realize something that needs to happen uh, for that sort of thing to commence. I need water breathing potions. That's one thing that I need. Now, obviously, we can go with torches, but I would rather not prefer something like that. And I would rather deal with water breathing. As well as, uh, we'll need some night vision potions as well. But the first thing we need to tackle is actually, we need to create a fishing rod. And we need to get, um, what is it? Lure three? I no no no. I think it's, I think it's lure that. Uh, let me see. I actually have the page up. Uh, yeah, lure enchantment, not luck of the sea. Actually, that's the that's the rare drops. We want um, a lure enchant. So we want to try and go for around a level thirty enchant on a bow or uh, a fishing rod, rather. My apologies. I didn't actually think that I was going to need to go back into the Nether for any reason whatsoever, but it did, was made apparent that I wasn't going to be able to get these water breathing potions very easily. Right now, I'm kind of just grinding out a little bit of levels uh, at the moment. But a lot of people, uh, or a couple of people rather, I don't know why I always say a lot of people, <laughs> but um, a couple of people did actually mention that I don't need to get a level 30 inch and go fishing to get uh, a puffer fish. I need to go to uh, the Elder Guardians or the... Um, uh, the, what do you call it? The Guardians, just the normal ones. Look at that invisible spider over there. Look at this beast. Look at that little beast. I actually almost wanted to have one of those as a pet in HCM. But, um... Some people did say that I can just kill the Guardians to get the, um... The puffer fish. The problem with that is, though, is I actually looked at the statistics, and in fact, I have it right here next to me. The drop rate for a puffer fish is 0.3%. Because it's 2.5% chance that a rare drop will drop. And a 13% chance that that rare drop is going to be a puffer fish. Granted, we have a looting three sword. Still is not the most efficient way to do it. And we're probably going to wind up taking a lot of damage during the process. I don't know how much those guys hurt with uh, full diamond armor and nearly... Oh, wow. What's up, jockey? Uh, I don't know how much those guys really hurt. Which is going to be a new thing that I'm testing, I guess, and kind of braving for. But, yeah, I'm not really going to go that direction when I feel like this way is a lot easier. So, the night time is nearly about to end. And this is still, like I said, a very inefficient way of gathering XP. So, I think I'm going to dip into the nether very quickly. And before I do, I'm going to make a fishing rod. And I will just say one more time, thank you guys so much for the continued support on this series. It's been incredible. I love you all so much. And it's just been fantastic. Um, this series is probably going to come to a close in about three or four more episodes, so you don't got too much longer until you, you know, you can finally get tired of it and say, Hey, I watched through all this short little, I don't know, I don't really know what I call, uh, it's not a mini series, but it's definitely uh, miniature in a lot of other senses, but I guess still for me, it's a relatively long one, which is nice. But, um, yeah, we still have all of our, uh, all of our potions on us, which I guess is fine, really. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our flint and steel, wherever the heck that may be. I think it's right here, yep. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put away the rest of the things that we don't need. We're gonna just try and get 30 levels, but before we do that, I actually want to grab a fishing rod and see what we would get on enchant if I was just do it right now. And we'll put our beautiful nether star away. I think we only need two string, actually. If I recall correctly, what is it? It is three across, like this, and then... Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's see what we'll get on a level 30 with that. That's lucky to see 
unbreaking and unbreaking. And then if we were to enchant a book on the rare opportunity that we would actually get lure. Sharpness three. Okay. So it's not really worth anything. In fact, I think I'm just gonna stay here and um, refresh. Because it's probably better to drain the levels while they're lower. In fact, I know it's better to drain the levels while they're lower. So let's just burn through uh, some items here. In fact, should we be using fishing rods to burn through these? Nah, I don't think that's worth it. Uh, power one. Go ahead, go ahead and dump that out. What are we going to get? There's our lure three, baby. Beautiful. So we need 30 levels and we'll be able to do that. And then if we were to just, out of curiosity's sake, enchant a book. What do we get on here? I think I know which I prefer more. I guess we'll have to wait to get the Lord. We're gonna go for that Blast Protection. <laughs> oh, man. I thought Blast Protection was gonna be nice in this, but... No. Blast Protection is just... Maybe when you're starting off in a survival world and you don't want to get blown up by a creeper, then possibly Blast Protection is a good thing, but... Eh. Uh, apart from that, I don't really think so. But uh, apart from this, um... I have a real problem with repeating phrases in my commentary. I kind of feel like my commentary gets dulled down quite a bit while I'm playing video games, because it's like... I don't know. I'm not able to focus as much because I'm trying to do something on screen while talking to you all. Um, but I do also want to say, for those that are a bit interested in just other stuff going on on my channel, regardless of this, I am actually starting my faction series up today. So if you're watching this video, keep an eye out for the next video of today because it'll most likely be a factions. If not, then it'll be the day after that for some strange reason. But I'm going to be recording that with Caroline today, and I am so very duly excited. It's gonna be awesome. I've spent like a good, you know, it's gonna be a good series and one that you're proud of because I spent what was it like two hours last night creating an intro for it. I'm one of those people that I don't have like a generic intro, you know, like um, I know a lot of YouTubers have like that very simple intro that they put at the beginning of all their videos, no matter what series it is, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not personally, I don't prefer that. I like doing introductions custom made for, um, you know, like series that are going to go on for a long time. Like this series, for example, the Trinity UHC uh, introduction took me, I actually don't know how long. Uh, I think just around as much time as the Factions one did, but I think even this introduction turned out really well. I don't know, I like it because it's, it's like my own little quirk, I suppose. Um, and I know, like, none of my work is really professionally done. In fact, that's another thing that, uh, <laughs> some people have commented out. Like, they say, Pete, you know, your, for example, like, your channel banner is, uh, it's a little plain. Are you gonna be getting, uh, like, a better one by, like, an artist or something? And I kind of, like, go to the same thing and say, while that would be cool, I have this thing where I really do prefer doing a lot of work, uh, on my own. I've created every single thumbnail that I've ever done on my own. I've created... The only thing that's not mine that I use is, um, well, obviously stuff like music. But um, the only things that I haven't have used is, uh, I think I used artwork in a, a couple thumbnails. And the avatar of mine was a speed drawing. Because um, I can't draw myself an avatar and it wouldn't look all that good. But like my channel banner, for example, I made on my own. That was from like, oh god, like a year and a half ago or something crazy like that. I think maybe even a bit longer. Um, I, I still, one of these days, might go back and try and refix that up a little bit. Because it is a little plain, but... Um, in all my intros and everything, my outros have all been made on my own. It's just like a little thing that I do. Because I love uh, work. I love, um, I guess, like uh, editing and uh, Photoshop work. Even though I don't use Photoshop, I use Paint.net. But, you know, quote-unquote Photoshop work and just... That sort of stuff. And I don't know, it's it's fun to me, really. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like a little tangent of the day, I suppose. And I guess now that we, uh, we've got some really beefy armor, we could always just freely use Ender Pearls at this point. Huh. It's nice, too, because we have, like, literally everything that we'll ever need. Oh, I feel my ear about to pop. Oh, that's a, that's a feeling. That is a feeling right there. It's like, right when it's coming on, you can feel it just kind of like... Oh, it's almost there. Ah, it's gonna hurt for a little while. If you hear some slight pain going on through the mic, that's uh, that's my suffering. <laughs> uh, we're actually making pretty good time in uh, level 30 here as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love you guys very much. I, I feel like it's necessary to remind you all in like every other few videos that I do and just how much I adore and uh, cherish all of you. Because it does escape me sometimes how amazing you guys have made my life and um, how hopefully uh, good I've made your guys's. I don't know how much of an impact I've... I know I couldn't have had as much of an impact to you guys as you have on me. 
but I hope that whatever I've done has been, you know, pretty up there in a scale. So we're actually going to take a little bit of damage and uh, fly down there. How much is that going to hurt? Oh, only one hurt. That's not bad at all. And then these little guys, these guys actually do hurt. This I have learned from experience. So we're going to kill these guys as soon as we possibly can. Get the freak out of here, you little bastard. All right. Um, there's still quite a bit of quartz here, which is nice. We didn't spend too much quartz enchanting. Uh, in fact, actually, I don't really know how many levels we spent enchanting in total. But this should be the last time that we go to the nether. We have literally everything that we'll need. I don't think there would be any reason for us to go back to the nether. Getting a smite sword would be the only other possible thing I could see. I don't even know if smite works on uh, guardians, to be honest with you. But we have a sharpness 5, so I mean, it's... You know, it's whatever, honestly. Depth Strider Enchant. Obviously, this isn't Protection 4 um, on most of this. Uh, actually, two of them are Protection 4. One of them's... And then, there's also Thorns, but... Thorns, to me, isn't really worth all that much. It's not really going to do all that much damage. Thorns is just a pretty weak enchantment, to be honest with you. And it drains your armor down quite a bit, too. Even though durability isn't really an issue with us, but... Eh, regardless. It's a thing, I suppose. Um, and it also feels kind of nice, too, because I'm recording all of these uh, without that 45-minute timer. So it's like I'm not constrained to, uh, you know, like I have one set goal per episode now. And that's pretty much it. I don't have to grind anymore. It was kind of funny, too. I, I like, envisioned myself um, making, like, grinders and stuff in the series. Thinking, oh, yeah, I'll need, like, a gold farm and shiz to be able to beat this. And I'm just like, this has been a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> In fact, if I ever was to revisit this, I would need to make this series a lot harder. Real talk, I would need to make it so I couldn't actually regen anything. Like, regen was straight not a thing. And that would be pretty cool, actually. That'd be really... Ooh, I think if I was to ever do a season 2 on this, that's what I would do. And that'd be crazy. That would be beyond crazy. As I don't actually know how that would work, especially with like stuff like a wither. Oh god, is that even- would that even be possible? You would need like a pure 10 hearts for literally everything. Oh god. I'm just thinking about that right now, that sounds like absolute hell. I mean, I'd be down for it one of these days, but... I don't know if that day would actually ever even come. Uh, real talk too, I probably should have checked to see um, if I got rid of one of those things, if Lord 3 was going to be the enchantment, if I would have kept level 26. Because right now I would love to be venturing out of the nether, but I don't actually know, and I would hate to have to come back here. Especially all this way. That was a- it's a really thick vein of, uh, quartz. Holy crap. That was like a level and a half right there. Jesus. And then look at this little guy. Absolutely nothing. There are two kinds of quartz veins. One that are big. In fact, actually, this is a medium one, to be fair. Eh, that was just a really big one, to be honest with you. Trying to figure out where more quartz is going to be. Oh, and also, one more thing. Um, I know there, there's probably a disliking toward um, YouTubers that like to hint toward a lot of things, but never actually say shit. Um, and that's going to be me for one more time, just because I know I'm an annoying YouTuber and I do that. It's cliche and, uh, you know, it's all for the hype banter. But uh, I'm actually working on something right now that uh, has been taking up a lot of my time, aside from sorcery. Uh, which has, you know, prohibited me to only one video a day for a little while, which is actually going to be pretty awesome. In fact, once it's uh, finished, it will be another gateway. But um, apart from that, I just want to say that I'm working on something else that I think is going to make a lot of you very, very excited. And, uh... Whoa, dude! Chill your nipples! Holy crap! That regen pot is actually going to come in a lot of handy. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever even wind up using it to this point, because we literally have every goddamn potion in the entire book of, uh, encyclopedias. I don't even know what that just meant, but... Yeah, we have enough potions to last us for pretty much a lifetime just in our inventory alone. Let alone all the materials we have back at home. And I think with just these little mines of quartz here, we should have just enough to get to level 30. And apart from that, levels will no longer be a thing that we will have to deal with. Which is nice, because level grinding is... Not, unless it's, uh, well, AFK, it's not really something I very greatly prefer to do. So, um, let's just actually try and come back home and see if we can find some quartz along the way. I see a little bit over there. Can we possibly get some around here? Is that a thing? There's a little bit of quartz down there. I could just yellow with another ender pearl, which I'm going to do. I really... If I was actually caring about my health right now, 
um, like my hearts, I wouldn't have done that, but, eh, you know, y'all know, right? At this point, there's really no problem doing it. Even doing that, there's like no danger of even hitting a wall, falling to lava, instantly dead. Eh, <laughs> kek. Ooh, that was almost really bad. Ooh. But we have... We don't have fire resistance with us. We actually probably should have gotten fire resistance before we went out here. Splash that down. Yeah, that probably would have been a good idea, actually. Uh, that would have been a really good idea, but unfortunately, we're a dumbass. Uh, huh. That, oh, that one. Oh, 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 that Kobe. Okay, think I'm getting a little bit too carefree with my shit right now. And there's another gas over there. Come here, gas. Freak son of a bitch. Did I drop another pearl? Or I drop another gas tier? I hope it did. Did it? Are you serious? Ah, eh, well. He just wants to be a little bitch about things. That's okay. Anyway, so we got 30 levels. Nearly had a death. <laughs> I think I'm being a little bit too carefree with all of this. In fact, nah, we're we're fine. And actually, looking down there, I didn't actually know where we spawned for a second. That freaked me out. I was like, wait, where are we? Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, pop our fishing rod in there. Get the lure 3. And we actually were able to get unbreaking on there. Sick. Now, we might as well... We might as well... Because uh, I just want to see... Actually, maybe it's not a good idea to check, because I think if you have, um... Okay, I just realized how much I really hate that noise. I love you guys, and that's why I'm not putting you through that. I'm not putting th myself through that, either. Uh, I think if you have Luck of the Sea, it kind of, uh... I think it gets rid of some of the aspects of lore, but I do just want to check and see what we can get with this. Uh, if we put another fishing rod in, what can we get? That's Unbreaking 3 as well. Not too many great things. And then if we were to put in a book, what would we get with the book? We would get Protection 4? Oh, Death Strider 3. What do we have currently? Oh, that might be good, actually. Wait, Death Strider... Death Strider is only up to 3, isn't it? Depth Strider. I think Depth Strider is on, only goes to uh, to 3. Yeah, it only does go to 3. Okay, that's what I thought. Because I was like, wait, that's level 30 for only that much? Um, Yeah. I don't think anything else is really worth it right now. Nope. Okay. Well, um, we have our fishing rod of justice. And we have our sword. We have literally everything that we could ever need in the goddamn universe at this point. So I think, really, uh, there's not a lot of things else to do except go fishing for a little while. Which I think I'm going to do off camera for the sake of all of you guys' uh, entertainment values. Let's do that, and then uh, we'll just turn that into gas tears. Why not? And turn into regen pots. Regen pots are good. Um, and I mean, apart from that, what do we have to do? We have to go fishing and search for a puffer fish, which I think we can do uh, now. Let's actually sleep. I might do it off camera, though. Not quite sure. So we can get the fishing rod. We have the fishing rod. So we need to get a puffer fish. Oh, in fact, actually, let me check real briefly. Uh, this is actually a skeleton. Hello? Would you like to come in? Are you sending cookies? Are you sending cookies? Excuse me, sir. You seem to be on fire. You seem to also be a bit hostile. How the, how's the cookie sales going? Can you tell me? Oh, the cookie sales aren't going well, are they? That sucks. Um, so let's see. Let me actually check real quick. Night vision potions. What you actually need to get. I think I know what they need, but I'm not actually sure. Night vision potions. You need for night vision. What do you? No, that's just the effects. Hold on. Where is the? We need brewing. I need to look this up here because I don't think I actually think I've made a potion of night vision legitimately before. Night vision is with. Swiftness, swiftness, fire, night vision. A golden carrot. Oh, there's a carrot on the floor. Oh, crap. Oh, no. My carrot. My one true chance. I think I have some carrots back at home, though. Do I? Please tell me I do. Yes, I... Thank God. Thank God. Okay, let's just take five of these and we'll make... That's actually... A... Are you enjoying your vacation? You should be out selling cookies. Hey. Don't do... No, 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 no. Bad. Give me cookies. Hate you. He didn't give me cookies. Alright. So let's go ahead and turn these into... I think to make a golden carrot, you need 
eight nuggets, right? Surround them with nuggets, and then that makes... Yeah, so we got three golden carrots with that. Perfect. I think that's actually all the gold we have to our names. Yeah, it is, huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, um, I guess we can... Oh, that was already... Well, that's awkward. Literally awkward. Uh, I guess... Uh, uh, yeah, put that back and then put that back as well. And I guess we can just make the uh, awkward potions with this and turn it into... We're gonna need some redstone. We're gonna need some, uh, some redstone as well. Uh, we can put the redstone in here. And then I think this should make it... Oh, take the other golden carrots out as well. Uh, we can actually put... These are awkward potions too. <laughs> we can just use it too. Honestly, it's a bit inefficient, but I doubt we'll need more than 24 minutes than this. Because this is what we're going to have, right? 24 mi minutes of night vision, I think? That's it. Let me just check real quick. This is... Yeah, eight minutes of night vision, and that's 24 in total. So that'll be brilliant underwater, especially with the fact that we already have, um, what is it? We already have respiration. In fact, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too against just, uh, wasting one of these little pots here just to kind of see, because I want to see what these look like underwater, because I don't think I've actually seen a respiration and night vision underwater at one time. So let me just see, because with night, with respiration, you guys can see here, um, you can see very clearly underwater. In fact, we're not actually in an ocean. But you can see very clearly underwater, um, against if you were to take it off, you notice how it's a lot darker. Um, let me show you right here. Yeah, it's a lot darker, but then you put it back on, and you can see a lot more. And with night vision, let me see real quick here. Night vision. Oh, it's literally brilliant day. Literally brilliant day. That is absolutely fantastic. Well, uh, I think at this point... I think this is actually where I'm going to end off the episode because I need to do uh, a little bit of um, some fishing while we're here. So I'm going to set up a little fishing corner right over here. Uh, I'm not really... Wow, that was literally instantly. Oh, well, that was... That was great. I don't think I've actually used lure actively. I think I've always just been a fan of Luck of the Sea. But uh, I'm not going to set up like an auto fish farm because I don't really think it's worth it to get one puffer fish. They're relatively rare, but lure should still help us get them more often. Because it did say it prefers that over Luck of the Sea. So I think this is where I'm going to end off the episode. Oh, uh, ready, ready. Huh. Oh, I thought that was, ooh, that was a raw salmon there. Delicious. But yeah, I'm going to end off the episode. A little bit of a short one, but you know... I don't want to end off this series too early, and I would like to prolong a couple things, but we're still making all the progress that we need to. I'm going to be fishing off AFK for a little while, so if you guys have been enjoying, please do leave support. The series is almost over, and you guys, I love all of you asking for Trinity UHC, how much of you guys have been loving it. It's been amazing, and just knowing that you guys still enjoy me playing Minecraft on a single-player world in vanilla, just with my commentary and no one else, it's, it feels nice just knowing that you guys enjoy it. So anyways, I love you all. Hope you're having a great weekend and have a great rest of the week, whenever it may start for you. And apart from that, take care, and I hope you have a good one. Ciao!